Is it Marvel Phase 5, Barely Alive? Or Marvel Phase 5, Doing the Hand Jive? We'll find out next. That's right, it's me and man Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I'm here to check out Marvel Phase 5. Are you excited? They dropped a lot of news at the end of San Diego Comic-Con, and we're going to take a look and do a little bit of reaction and kind of dissect what we saw. So let's take a look here at the timetable for Marvel's Phase 5. Looks like it's going to start off with Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, and end with the Thunderbolts. We saw quite a few trailers as well. I'm feeling the... I don't... <laughs> the all-connected, the all-integrated story. I don't know how integrated they are. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Phase 4 has been a hot disaster. I think it's it's been a disaster both from a filmmaking standpoint... And as they start to break down the numbers, they're going to look at it as a as a non-success because not you have Spider-Man, which is really a property of Sony's, getting released, and that made a billion dollars. But if you look at Thor and Doctor Strange, they were supposed to be the Marvel billion-dollar movies, and they are not going to make it. Doctor Strange came very close, but not going to make it. Would seem like a little bit of a disappointment, and Thor. Seems on pace to really disappoint. And word of mouth has not been good. So people are not super excited. And I am not the person who is here to like dump on Marvel. I've watched every single second of all the series, including Miss Marvel. You can catch a bunch of those reviews here. I've watched every single movie. Haven't missed a single one. Consider myself, I guess I still consider myself a Marvel fan. I'm still going to watch it regardless, at least to give you folks at home an idea of what's going on. But let's keep looking and keep moving. Kevin Feige came and uh, took to Hall H in San Diego Comic-Con and dropped the trailer for uh, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, uh, which I guess is the end of Phase 4. I will say I actually kind of liked the trailer to Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I didn't really like the music choice. I thought that was a really weird remix of No Woman, No Cry. But that being said, I thought it looked intriguing. There was enough going on that seemed kind of interesting. They're definitely introducing Namor. I have no idea what they're going to do with Namor. But look, that could be interesting. It was one of the few Marvel trailers that I've been interested in in a long time. Some of the trailers have been pretty bad. Uh, but Phase 5 will kick off with the third Ant-Man film. The thing that's a little strange to me is they're gonna bring back, they're gonna bring back his daughter. I don't see why you would bring back your daughter to be a superhero uh, when she has no special powers. I mean, maybe she does, maybe she doesn't. I, I don't know, but it's gonna be directed by Peyton Reed, and I guess Jonathan Majors is going to reveal he's gonna reveal himself as a new Kang the Conqueror. Not super thrilled about that. His original depiction of Kang the Conqueror was kind of laughable, and uh, that was in the Loki show. Not that interesting. Secret Invasion. Not sure how I feel about that. You know, I do love me uh, some Nick Fury, and, uh, you know, Nick Fury and Maria Hill. All right, sure. Colby Smulders. I mean, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know. Oh, it's a Disney Plus series, so your expectations don't have to be too high. And I'm fairly sure that Daenerys Targaryen is starring in it. I think they said that uh, she's going to be in it. So we'll see about that. I am excited about Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Volume 3. James Gunn hasn't disappointed. Uh, I did not want, I, I'm trying not to see too many of the previews, but uh, Will Poulter is going to be in as Adam Warlock. We'll see how that goes. The Marvels sounds like an absolute just train wreck. I don't know what, <laughs> there's rumors it's going to be a musical that could be people trolling us. I have no, ex I, you can't take, you got to think that if Captain Marvel is a billion dollar franchise right because the first movie did a billion dollars 
Yet somehow it's not called Captain Marvel 2. It's called The Marvels. You know, Thor, Love and Thunder, you know, might not have totally been about Thor. It might have been about Lady Thor. All the Thor movies have Thor in the title. All the Guardians of the Galaxy movies have Guardians of the Galaxy. Not having your lead star in the title of that movie seems a little suspect. You also have Echo, which they recently announced will star <laughs> Kingpin and Daredevil. Just make a Kingpin and Daredevil story. Please, just do that. I would like that much greater. Oh, wait, they're going to. Uh, Loki season two, mm, not that interested. Just not that interested. Uh, apparently, Ironheart will also debut. Riri Williams is uh, going to debut in Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I don't know why they left an E off of that Wakanda Forever. I hope it's not spelled that way. Uh, yeah, not super interested in that either, but I, I suppose I will watch it. Agatha, Coven of Chaos, which is Katherine Hahn starring in her own solo series. This is one of those, like, the fans loved it. We're going to give her her own series. I don't know if that really works. I mean, maybe if they want to make it a, a comedy, I don't know. Not 100% sure what they're doing with this. And then Captain America, New World Order, seems a little touch too on the nose. You know, Anthony Mackie taking over as as uh, Captain America. He's Falcon. He already was Falcon. Falcon is fantastic. You don't need to make him Captain America. Falcon and the Winter Soldier is not good. And he it could have just been a Falcon movie. Like, why are you taking Cap? Like, whatever, man. You do you, Marvel. And then Daredevil Born Again. This seems like just a... They kind of threw it together at the last moment because people really, really love Daredevil. And that was the one piece they they seem to want to take from the Netflix uh, series, obviously. But uh, it's an adaptation of Frank Miller's Born Again arc. I don't know that much about it. More details as I do a little bit more research. And then it seems like it's going to end with Thunderbolts in 2024. I don't know why it's taking so long to put out some of these movies. It's a little weird. Uh, this is Julia Louise Dreyfus's character putting together a like knockoff Avengers. I think it's a cool concept. It's already been done with Suicide Squad, but you'll have Baron Mordo back, and I'm sure you'll have you know Ca Captain America that nobody likes. <laughs> like what? I don't know what's going on with all this. Now, I'm going to leave Phase 6 out of this for your own well-being. But I just I wanted to focus on Phase 5 and just really kind of stick with that. Um, it's strange, too, because they're saying that this is a restructuring of some of the movies and, and they're pulling out some things that seem kind of be random, like Daredevil wasn't going to be in there. I guess Blade is going to show up in there as well. Uh, we didn't talk too much about that. I think that already began filming. They seem to have left that out. There didn't seem to be many details about it. There's not many details about Secret Invasion with Samuel Jackson and Amelia Clark. Um, we'll see what's going on there. It's written by the writer of uh, of Mr. Robot, right? I don't know why anybody would watch Echo other than the fact that they're being teased with, you know, Jingle the Keys, Show Us Daredevil and Kingpin. Let's see, what else? Uh, yeah, they kind of skipped over Blade. So I'm not sure. At least it's getting credit here. Blade, it's happening again. One of the most brilliant superhero movies of all time is getting a reboot. I agree. Blade is amazing and often overlooked. And Wesley Snipes needs to get his due for that. Ironheart, again, not that interested. So this kind of seems thrown together. They claim in Phase 6 there's going to be two Fantastic Four movie and two Avengers movies. Who's even on the Avengers anymore? Who's even left? I have no idea. Well, who's, I guess Sam Wilson. Maybe they'll have uh, the Winter Soldier. I don't know. I'm not super excited about this. I, let me know what you think below. Again, the Wakanda Forever trailer looked pretty good. Pretty interesting. Wakanda goes to war with Atlantis. I think I can get behind that. I'm not sure if I like the blue people design i think it looks a little too on the nose for avatar 
Let me know what you think below, but uh, maybe we'll get to phase six if you want me to break down phase six and my thoughts there. Little disappointed in phase four, but it seems like they might be catching on that these are some probable mistakes that they're making. Who knows? Anyway, uh, be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast. We also live stream it Friday nights uh, at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can catch that. You can get download it for free. Spotify, Stitcher, iTunes, all those great places and more. I personally listen to it on iTunes. Anyway, uh, like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. really helps us work the channel up. Upward and onwards, as we always say. And uh, as for me, I am out to the next one. Thank you.